In 2016, I created a brand new vocabulary to use with traditional human design that I call quantum human design. The encyclopedia of quantum human design is basically a codex, a listing and a brief description of all of the vocabulary word changes. You're going to learn how to reframe your understanding of traditional human design, integrating quantum human design so that you can start to construct a narrative that expands upon traditional human design. This is designed to be a practical reference guide for professional human design practitioners. So this is for anyone who uses human design already as part of their practice, as part of their training. This is just going to give you a little bit of a reframe on all the elements in a traditional human design chart. All of the vocabulary that's in this encyclopedia have been tested and used by my clients. These are also vocabulary words that we actually tested in a lab that are high frequency words, it's high frequency language that helps your clients consciously build or write a story about who they want to grow into becoming. This is a tool that allows you to help your clients lead themselves into growing into the person they want to be. I've rewritten the names of all the incarnation crosses, the names of the circuits, the names of the gates, the types, the centers. And in this book, I explore with you how to reframe our understanding of the way the chart works so that this system becomes how the chart works, not who a person is. So you're going to learn how to use quantum human design as a way to support your client in actively translating light into action, in actively translating their response to life into a conscious, deliberate choice. It actually teaches your clients how to leverage their quantum creative capacity and to use archetypes as a healing tool, not only for themselves, but for the world.